Hi, this is Paul Wong, Radical Coaching, and welcome to Breakfast of Champions. Uh, for those of you who are new, Breakfast of Champions is a tool that we create for leaders and managers to have a discussion with their team every week. Personal development, leadership development kind of discussion. Uh, it should take about 15 to 30 minutes. We generally just share an idea and then there are some questions that you can use to discuss with your team to open up relationships, to challenge one another to think together, and grow as a team. So we're currently in the middle of our series, Arise and Grow, where we've been talking about three areas that all of us should grow this year if we want to make this the best year. And the first one was to grow in character. Today we're going to be talking about growing in marriage and family relationships. This part has a very special place in my heart. Right? And, and why is that so? Because I grew up with making a lot of bad choices that hurt a lot of relationships in my life. And I, it took me a long time before my eyes were open and I realized that, that I was really destroying a lot of relationships in my life, family and later on even in marriage. And I'm thankful for, for some people that really love me and, and came to mentor me, show me the truth, show me the, 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 the way to, to rebuild my relationships and to continue to grow, again, to keep on growing in, in becoming a better, whether it's a husband or a father or a leader, uh, realizing that all of it requires having good relationships. So this has a very special place, and and uh, you know we, we do a a project with uh, Saigon Children Charity where we train about 40 young people at, uh, every year, and a lot of them come from disadvantaged families, and a lot of them come from broken families, and we see the impact on their lives even before they go to work. We can see impact on broken families and, and marriages, and and I think that that uh, this is important. I believe that there is a direct impact. Right? Our marriages and our family relationships have a direct impact on the fulfillment, on the performance, on the productive productivity that we have at work. I believe there is a direct impact. It's not just two separate worlds that we try to balance. No, there is a direct impact that both have uh, on each other, and especially from the family side into the work. Now, <clears throat> um, ha imagine having great family relationships, right, with your parents, with your spouse, with your children, I believe that is going to give us a great sense of joy and peace and stability, and therefore we can come to work greatly motivated to give our best. And, and uh, coming to work, I think, should be a natural expression of the joy we have at home. Coming to work should not be an escape from the pain that we experience at home. That should not be the case. And, and uh, when we are able to really come to work uh, with that joy from home, right, I believe that's going to be true fulfillment, true productivity. And successful teams have learned to make, to build a community in their team where they care about one another, not just for their work performance, but also for their whole life. Right? So great leaders learn how to care for, to, to be interested in and care about the family life of their team members. Right? Now, caring doesn't mean interfering, right? doesn't mean we be a busybody and we gossip about what is happening in everybody's family. That's, that's just not caring. Caring is showing interest, really trying to, to understand how is that person's family life and providing any kind of support that we can within boundaries. Right? There definitely should be boundaries in our relationship with people at work. Um, we shouldn't interfere. If someone is having a fight with his wife or with his mother, right, we should not interfere. Now, if that, if that colleague trusts us so much that they would ask us for some advice, right, we should really respect that and give the best advice we can, but definitely we cannot interfere in such cases. That person should be responsible for his relationships, right? But how, so how do we create this caring environment, right, so that everyone in the team can grow in, mar in their marriage and family relationships. And so everyone knows also that we don't just care about their hands. We care about their whole life, right? Their heart and their mind as well. Here are some tips for you, all right? Here's three tips. First one is this. Get to know their family members. It's as simple as that, right? So how do we do that? Well, pay attention to important dates, right? important events like TET, right? Use it as an opportunity to go visit team members in their homes and say hello to their parents or to their spouse. Right? Get to know them. 
you don't have to be best friends with them, but really take, make an effort. Because I know it's difficult to rem remember everybody's names, but by showing that you care, right, that is going to encourage an environment where the team members know that you care for them their whole life, not just more than, not just their work. Right? So there is also important days like weddings. You know, if if, if you are invited to a to a uh, team member's uh, wedding, go there and go shake hands with their family members and really get to know them as best as you can. Don't sit in your own table with your own co colleagues cracking jokes. No, go and really meet their family members. Right. Uh, same thing in the funeral. Right. If if you are invited to your to your colleagues, uh, your team members' funeral. Go there and really try to get to know the people there and, and, and really be, be, be sensitive to their needs and not just sit in, in our own tables, right? And, and just um, think to ourselves, right? We are the, we are, we are just, the, just the colleagues, no. Try to get to know the family members. So that's the first thing that we can really try to do, do to encourage people to grow in their marriage and family relationships. Second thing that we could do is we can check with each other's family relationships. What do I mean by that? Well. <coughs> During lunchtime, we don't have to talk about work, but we can really ask one another, hey, how, how's your children doing in school? Right? Are they have, you know, um, and, and are, they, are their relationship good at home? Right? We, we can show care for one another's family relationships. How, how's, that family, how's that relationship with your mother? You know, your, your mother was, is, let's say, sick. Right? How, how's the update of that? Right? We can check with one another about those things. We don't have to, again, become nosy. <coughs> Excuse me. We don't have to become nosy, but we can honestly show interest and care by checking with one another's relationships. And it's a good thing to do it during lunchtime, right? And we don't have to talk to about work all the time. The thing we could do is we could share marriage and family goals. Now, every year we, sh we set goals in our teams, right? To perform better and stuff like that. Why don't we share a family goal that we have with one another? Some people may say, well, I'm not comfortable doing that. Well, that's fine, right? But for the leader, I think it's a very healthy thing if we encourage one another to share our family goals with one another in the team. It doesn't have to be every family goal. It could be some of the, 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 the ones that, that we're comfortable to share with. And it helps us to know one another well and to, to also help each other. Right? For example, um, your colleague sets a goal that he wants to bring his family for a holiday in a certain place. Right? If you have some additional information that could help him, you could pass on that information and help him out. And this would strengthen your relationships. Maybe your colleague has a goal that he wants to be a better parent this year. Maybe he has a child that he's struggling to really parent. Now, all of us parents can relate to that. Maybe you can share with him a book, a parenting book that you read that was really helpful to you. And, and whether, whether it's helpful to him or not, that's up to him to really read and decide for himself. But you sharing that book, that resource, is really going to strengthen the, your relationship within the team. So sharing goals with one another helps us to know one another even better and, know, and we know how to help one another right? and how to, how to motivate each other. Right? When, when we work, we know that our personal life and our professional life are greatly intertwined together. It's not just two separate worlds. There should be some lines and boundaries that we draw, but they are greatly intertwined. Now today, in your group discussion, let's explore these two questions. First one is this. What would change if our team started to care more about each other's marriage and family relationship? What, what do you think is going to change if we started to take more interest in what's happening in one another's family life? Okay. First question. So imagine that and let's, let's, let's discuss. Question number two. What can we start changing today in our team if to show one another that we want each other let's try that again question number two what can we start changing today to show that we want one another to succeed not just at work but also at home okay, what can we start doing today as a team if we seriously want everyone in the team to be successful not just at work but also at home so you could try maybe one of the ideas I, I suggested earlier, maybe you spend more time outside of work to visit each other, looking for opportunities like that. Right? Maybe having some trips together as a team where you invite your family members to join that and, and maybe go out for, for a meal together. Right? It doesn't have to be every week, no, it could be once, a couple times a year, right? But that's for, for you guys to decide, right? So have fun discussing that 
And I look forward to hear from you. If you want to join the discussion, right, uh, we look forward to hear from you at voc at radical-coaching.com. Share with us your ideas. You can also comment on our blog. You could go to our Facebook page and comment there as well. And you could also go to our LinkedIn group and comment there. All right, so have a great time with this question, discussion, and, and I look forward to hear your ideas. Goodbye.